Okay, so let's go on working on that wristband here. So select one piece of that, hit the up arrow key to go the, to that group. And with that group selected, regroup this group one more time. So hit Control G and then we create an instance of uh, all of that. So let's go here to edit, duplicate special and set it to instance. And then we want to uh, scale this down negative one and Z. So I've got my settings here set already. So yeah, everything has to be at zero and um, scale one in X, one in Y and negative one in Z. Number of copies one and let's say apply. And there you go. Okay, so now we have the two parts done here. Let's go in and take care about that lock that's down here. And to be honest, I won't model the uh, exact uh, lock that's on that watch or on many watches because, um, not that I can't do it, but um, that would be uh, another very time consuming process here. And yeah, just to save some time and uh, in the end we won't see that at all because or not that much of that because we are only rendering or I'm only rendering um, yeah especially this part here right okay so forgive me for that um, all right so let's um, go to the side view here <coughs> and then let's uh, create a polygon cube so with that created um, let's move this guy down let me go to shaded mode, hit 5 on my keyboard and let's move that guy down and we can scale that f a little bit more flat here and then we scale it out to somewhere about here okay and now let's bring it somewhere in a position like this and then we can go in and scale that guy out. And again, this is something that I'm only eyeballing here. Somewhere about there. Okay. And now let's um, insert uh, some subdivisions here on the width. Let's first uh, do two on the width and then on the depth, uh, give it a cool number like something like 16 should work fine. Or let's and let's bring in even more 20. Okay, I think 20 20 should work in the end. Okay, so now what we can do is. Uh, Let's delete all the faces on that one side here, so we don't need that. We focus on only half of that guy. And then we want to insert an edge loop somewhere about here. And we also, yeah, we can, let's insert one here. So select this edge here one of those edges here and then uh, control right click add ring utilities and split and let's do the same here on the end select one edge and then hit G to repeat the last two okay now we take some faces here we take this one and uh, the whole row here uh, not, the, not the way down so let me deselect that so select this edge here and this one and let's take our paint select tool uh, hold down B and middle mouse to scale it selection brush down and then uh, go to face mode and select all of those faces here on that line okay and now we extrude those up hit extrude and move that up to somewhere about here okay and now what we do is uh, we are going to bend this guy mm, select the object 
Let's check out here the side first. Um, let's delete the inside faces here that we don't need that ca that come from the extrusion. So shift select that, delete those, and now take that and um, yeah, let's create another bent deformer. So a nonlinear deformer bent, and give it a little bit of curvature. And again, it's uh, bending in the wrong direction. So let's rotate that. Guy. So let's rotate that in Y, 90 degrees. And now let's rotate that. And that's the thing. Um, once you rotated that guy, so this time, as you can see here, I rotated, uh, rotated it 90 degrees in Y. So now when I start rotating this in, which would be X, um, those numbers here change. Uh, sometimes it's confusing. So, so if you rotate this uh, this way, you obviously have to dial down y this time to zero. Okay, and um, let's go to the side view and check that out how um, it's bent. So let's uh, dial down the curvature. So click on that under the inputs and then control middle mouse. Let's dial that down a tiny bit. It's not that rounded. Something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. So select the object and delete the history. And then with, with, this, with that object selected, let's move it somewhere into position. Somewhere about here. <coughs> and now what we can do is, um, yeah, we can go in and um, let's insert in another split here, select this edge. And control right click, add ring utilities and split. And now we take. Let me think for a second. So, what I want to do now is um, I want to insert uh, some holes in that geometry here. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a step that is not very important, but. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, that's uh, another technique that uh, I think it's worth it to show you that. Um, let's create a polygon cylinder. And with that created, let's bring that down, that guy. Let me turn on wireframe unshaded. And um, let's rotate that 90 degrees in Z. And then um, if you bring that to exactly this center point here, so hit a V and middle mouse to bring it here. Then we scale that guy down to a point somewhere about here. Um, and now let's dial down the uh, subdivision axis to something like 6. And now let's uh, um, delete the top and bottom caps of that guy. So select, you can go in and select, yeah, just maybe we take that guy out first to see better what's going on. So select all of the faces and then deselect the center faces and then hit delete. Okay, now we have um, a little cylinder here. Um, and now let's take that guy and move its verts. So select the, uh, those vertices here and move those in X and then middle mouse, uh, a V middle mouse over this vertex here so that it's sitting here right uh, on that face. And we do the same on the other side. Move this and then V middle mouse and snap it to here. Okay, so with that cylinder created, um, we can go on in the next video, I think, because I'm running out of time again, um, and start to connect this cylinder with that piece of geometry here and um, create some kind of a, a hole in here, a nice rounded uh, hole. Okay, so see you in the next video.